How do you know you are successful in YouTube? Let me show you the 5 things you to keep track of. Metrics that inspire you to take action and keep going, as persistence is one of the keys to YouTube success. Welcome to this final storyteller video. YouTube provides you with lots of data about your channel and your videos. That's great! There's a lot of things you could measure, but only a few that you should measure. Let's walk through 5 things that I suggest you check on your YouTube analytics dashboard and avoid getting stuck in paralysis by analysis. I would love to hear what you are doing to measure success for your channel, so please comment below. First thing to measure, growth. If you look at what publicly listed companies like Facebook and Alphabet report on, you will notice that very often they focus more on the relative metrics rather than on absolute numbers. They focus on growth. Having continued strong growth, multiplied by time, will get you to the absolute numbers you are aiming for. So which elements of growth do you focus on when you run a YouTube channel? I focus on growth in four areas. Growth in number of views, which is up 36%. Growth in total view time, up 37%. Growth in likes, which is down 33%. And growth in subscribers, up 39%. Once you know how you're doing on these growth metrics, think of things you can do to boost your growth. Can you prove your video titles? Putting keywords first and having a title that covers the content well. Did you upload a transcript of your video to enable YouTube and Google to index it and make it easier for viewers to find your video? Where can you share your video? Social media, blogs and websites. Can you include a call to action at the right point? Do you ask your viewers to like your video? Do you ask your viewers to subscribe to your channel? My second metric is audience retention. Before you start making your next video, analyze the view retention of your previous videos. At which point might viewers be dropping off? What happens in that video that gets some viewers to disconnect and leave? On the screen is an example of my very first YouTube video. It's an explanation of a financial term called EBITDA. In these days of infinite information with finite intention and time, it's very important to get your st viewers to stick with you. According to the relative audience retention data, viewers seem to value the first part of my video, those that kept watching seem to like the middle part, but far view fewer viewers were interested in the last part. So what action can you take to improve audience retention? Plan your video. Make a script up front, edit, 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 and watch if it flows well before you publish it. Preview the content in your introduction. Make sure you share with your audience what to expect and then deliver on it. Use cliffhangers. Build up the anticipation of what is coming. Keep the energy high. Are you excited about the topic you're covering? Third metric, traffic sources. Where is your viewer traffic coming from? This is another fascinating area to dive into, with lots of drill down opportunity to gather more information. 47% of my views come in through YouTube search, 31% through suggested videos, and 12% through external sources. I would love to hear in the comment box below how you have found this video. If you drill down into the YouTube search data, you can find the keywords that people have been searching for. You even get audience retention data split out by keyword. Suggested videos can be a major source of traffic. When your videos are showing up as the next video in autoplay or in the recommendations of what to watch next on the right hand side of YouTube screen. If you drill down into the suggested video data, you will see the list of videos that viewers were referred from. Viewer traffic categorized as external consists of traffic coming through Google search as well as incoming traffic from postings on social media sites like Facebook or LinkedIn, as well as embedded videos on websites and blogs. Here are things you can do to improve your success for one or more of the traffic source categories. Perform search engine optimization for your videos, as well as your channel. Choose good titles that cover the content of your video. Upload transcripts for each video. Upload a channel trailer. Fill in your channel description. Make it easy for people to find your channel and your videos. Work on your channel status. Check whether your channel has been verified. 
whether you have activated your custom URL, whether you can upload custom thumbnails for your videos. Upload more videos. You need a good amount of videos with excellent content that viewers like before YouTube takes your channel seriously. Get the volume in so YouTube gives you the corresponding place in the spotlight. Involve your network. Post links to your videos on question and answer sites like Quora, share your videos on Facebook and LinkedIn, and embed videos into websites. Fourth metric, favorable comments. To me, this is one of the most rewarding parts of running a YouTube channel and making videos. How many comments do you get on your videos? Are you engaging your audience with your videos so they want to ask a question, leave feedback, or start a discussion? To improve your success and show your gratitude, make sure you respond to the comments from viewers that take the time and effort to comment on your videos. Include a call to action in your videos, like, we would love to hear what you think in the comment box below. Also, don't just stay on YouTube, but track and respond to comments on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter as well. The fifth thing I measure, the top 10 days with highest views. How many of these are in the last month? Just like in sports, on YouTube you are only as good as your latest game. Today is November 18th, and as you see, 9 out of 10 of my best days are all in the last 28 days. I plan to keep that current, I believe the best days are always ahead of us. How do you improve on this top 10? Keep making high quality videos, work hard at promoting them, and show your viewers and YouTube that your channel is alive and ambitious. These are my 5 metrics to measure and improve YouTube success. Measure growth, improve audience retention, drive traffic from all possible sources, engage viewers through sharing and comments, realize your top days are now. Do you agree? Disagree? Do you measure different things? Let me know in the comment box below and let's inspire each other to build our channels. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the Finance Storyteller YouTube channel. More videos coming soon.